Hello and welcome to Joe Kakaka. I'm Jim. I'm Sam. And this month we're talking about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, JoJolian, Chapter 94, Dangerous Pursuit, Part 6. There you go, we got it. <laughs> yeah, why would you... I don't know what you're talking about. Not like you took multiple takes. It's <laughs> a strange thing to mention. <laughs> I know, since right? Since we just deleted the takes. I'm a little bit out of it, it's fine. <laughs> um terrible podcasting so thank what, you for what, joining what, us what did they come to expect <laughs> thank you for joining us uh we were just hanging out actually when the chapter dropped so we were like hell yeah literally thought about leaving and then bam <laughs> hilarious uh i held sam hostage yeah, so that we could record this pod <laughs> chapter podcast yes so uh holy shit yeah so what a chapter before hiatus uh yes um which, that is what is happening next month something we <laughs> there is a hiatus just, should maybe we'll, we'll ask or somehow get a poll or something i don't know what to do for the hiatus month. oh fuck i forgot about that yeah okay yeah we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about that later yeah all right so chapter 94 so i think the sentiment from a lot of uh people that i read online seemed to not really like last chapter that much it was kind of like a cool down chapter i mean yeah you kind of need like, those yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't, it wasn't. Like, the ending was pretty intense, yeah. I thought. I mean, they, I think each each chapter, especially the recent ones, they've always had a cooldown chapter after everything. Like, after Dr. Wu and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, Whereas this one was just, like, fire on all cylinders. Like, Yasuho is in, like, extreme peril. That's how you knew Hayes was coming. We're getting, like, really intense character uh, moments with Mitsuba. Jobin talking about wa- the wall's eyes. Oh, every fucking uh, Jojo Brony out there who's like, Rocky forgot the wall eyes. Not only has he mentioned them, literally, like, three chapters ago, we see them in this chapter. <laughs> so I want I want every Jojo Brony part skipper who complains about the wall eyes, I want you to all bow before <laughs> me and, and lick my feet. Ew. You pathetic monsters. I've seen that Lord of the Ring video. I don't want to think about feet. <laughs> um, all right. So, so, uh, so I was so close to my prediction about like her just jumping into like the uh, like the toilet thing. Bidet. And they, yeah, the bid- I was sure it was a bidet. If she literally says the word bidet. Does she, say, does she say bidet? She literally says the word bidet. Well, she she basically like thought about it, but she couldn't. I think I was close. Um, kind of. Yeah. So we we kind of talked about this last time, but Yasuho is like extremely nerfed when she's in a phone in water, isn't she? <laughs> I guess so. I guess her stand can drown. It's really interesting, and I, I we saw a lot of interesting comments actually about like people kind of feeling a little dubious about how the stand rules work here. Yeah, we like, talked a lot about that. Last and time. yeah, I, 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 we even got some comments about it. And it's just like it is really weird to me that she can't just like recall. Yeah, Paisley Park. It's like stuck in the phone. Yeah, which is I, it's a really cool like setup. And we talked about this last time. I feel like if she was in something, it would just it would you know go back away, kind of like like a Black Sabbath thing where like once it's taken out from where it's at, yeah. it goes back to its user kind of thing. Exactly. It never felt since it's not a combat stand. I felt like it was something that like wouldn't be affected by that as much since it's not like a power stand. Mm-hmm. But eh. yeah, and like people, I think did correct me. She technically is not an automatic stand, even though. She did. She kind of sends it off there, but she can also just speak through it. It's like a mix of like it can be automatic. It... Yeah, I think initially there were some scenes where it was doing things without the, her the whole direct. App thing. Like, like yes, the first the whole real introduction. Thing, yeah. yeah, it was more so it working for her. Kind of like with Spice Girl. Maybe it was more like what yes. Spice Girl was, where it was in it was automatic, and then it came like a punch ghost. Yes. Yeah, I think that's. I think Spice Girl is a really good comparison to that. But all right, so. Jobin is like confirmed bad guy. Like Jobin is pretty redeemable at this point. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was really cool that he mentioned the wall eyes, and we see the wall eyes. Yes. And it actually looks like eyes this time, because like I've reread the first chapter a few times, and the Yasuho's narration explains the wall eyes. She's like, they were nicknamed uh, wall eyes by preschoolers, and it, the name stuck. And every time I look at them, I'm like, I don't really see the eyes here. A lot of early stuff. A party talks about like the landscape a lot it's important i know coming back uh, so so yeah he so yeah he he briefly talks about like how uh so yeah i had to reread this because i didn't i thought that he, he meant that narisuke actually already went but he says that his dad has made up his mind to go to the shrine holes so basically yeah the whole thing where he's gonna um sacrifice himself for surugi but then jobin's like no 
the new Rokakaka mm. is going to save everything. <laughs> but yeah, then we yeah they get her like realizing you know Jovan's not listening to Sarugi, or like he's saying no no we're not gonna like, t- rescue her or whatever kind of stuff. And then wait who? Oh, Sarugi is tell basically saying Jovan like that she's an ally or whatever like not like yeah yeah don't, don't, not letting her don't, get her out of the toilet please. <laughs> Dad, can you get her out of the toilet, please? Can, can, can you get Can you get uh, Joshu's phone out of the toilet with my <laughs> with my big sister figure? <laughs> um, we went over the Sam. It's not Joshu's phone. It's Surugi's phone. Can you get a? Can you get the? Can you take the phone out of the toilet, please? Um, it's yes. gross. So yeah, I, it was neat how like. Also, this phone lasts pretty long underwater compared to like. A phone that's not in a case or anything. <laughs> uh, I feel like phones nowadays are being designed to be more and more waterproof. If it, if it was like, this is 2011, 2012 maybe. That's technically correct. You are, it is, it is still 2011, so. <laughs> is it, they don't have like the big heavy duty like phone case like I have right now that like probably <laughs> could survive underwater. Yeah, she doesn't And how have women it. are ha- <laughs> with their, with like not putting like cases on their phone. My sister, I don't know my sister. Like, but it's Ruby's well. phone. It's Ruby's a boy. <laughs> At least I'm assuming it's Sergi's phone. It was in Sergi's room. Yeah, but still, there's no case on it. There's no case on it. Um, this phone would be cracked up like crazy. <laughs> so there's something that I think is interesting, uh, is that it seems like Paisley Parks, um, like is taking damage based on how the phone is being affected. Yeah. So it's like it's weird. The integrity of the phone being destroyed is like affecting her. <laughs> I feel like so it's like Paisley Park has become one with the electronics, which I, is really interesting. Yeah, I felt like that's something she would have, she should maybe learned about, but I guess no one really. I found her out till now. I always felt like her stand was a lot more, like a lot more stealthy. But we talked about it last time, where we always felt like it was just like it felt more interpretation. like a ghost. Like it, it felt more like a it, it felt like, like a specter. Seeing it was like it's this interpretation of what it was on or doing, not yeah. not it, it being like, just hovering around it. Because that'd be very stupid that it'd be able to just like I always I mean I always thought it. that it was like. Like, around if you're walking down the road you look up and see like on the power lines like or like, on a camera you see Paisley part like ra- like putting her like around it. Like, we saw that, like, that one yeah. chapter. Just be, like, weird. Well, yeah, because, like, sometimes she's, like, inside. And then we've also seen her, like, inside computers, like, in, like, more of a metaphorical way where she's, like, perusing through data. Yeah. And, like, I think originally how Paisley Park was described is, like, imagine, like, everything is doors. Like, every electronic gateway is doors. And yeah. She's... Okay, so, yeah, let's let's use that and door analogy. So, yeah, it's Paisley Park can go through all these doors. Yeah. Um... And then her being thrown into the water is like the door being shut. Like hmm. the door is closed, so she's trapped in this form, so she can't leave. But yeah, she's like cracking though. It calls, she's like really cracking it everywhere. Yeah, Joshua takes some serious like fucking damage. Her eyes start exploding. <laughs> In typical JoJo fashion. Yeah, I was gonna say a lot of JoJo's characters' eyes explode. Uh, so. Cat Queen. Um, Everybody gets donated. I can't think of any other examples. <laughs> Probably every villain that gets um, like punched. Yeah, but I feel like that's a part three thing where everybody gets like just barrage or like like I'm pretty sure like Tyra Gray after he came back alive for like one second then died and just coughed blood everywhere. Didn't Ojiro have his eye exploded by Speed King? Yeah, I that's, feel like that's, his eye exploded. That's more, yeah, it's more of like the face is like being Speed Kinged. Um, so yeah, she's just like, yelling. She gets in front of the camera yelling at, at the family. And since, you know... Oh, sorry. Before that, we saw some, like, aerial shots of the uh, Higashikata estate. And I really just appreciate every time that Araki shows us, like, the landscape or how, like... Like, I love the way this house looks. I think it's yes. so fucking cool looking. The mansion. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, since... <laughs> you know, Dai is blind. She also keeps deaf. And <laughs> they're not characters anymore. So only... Um, Caesar. That's not true. They're they're around. They are around. I mean, Daya said to get the good tea that one time. <laughs> um, they are around. Uh, they just didn't. They, they, weren't they, they don't do. Haven't done anything yet. Characters don't have to constantly be doing things. Just, they don't haven't like talked or you know. They're this. I feel like this family should. They have the last chapter. They all have like little though. moments. What like, more do you... How much time do you want to spend with I just stepped the... on her ex-boyfriend. Yeah, it was great. That was awesome. <laughs> and Daya was, like, obsessed with, with Josuke for a while and kind of, like, nothing... That gone away. You have to think about, like, what purpose would these characters serve? I know. Serve? I know. But it's weird when you're introduced to... Okay, these, these made it feel like they, they were going to, like, be side characters and just not anymore. I will say they were As, absent for a lot, but it feels like... Ha- has that where you feel like, okay, they're... He has friends now in this family and then just 
it's just with he meets Planet Praiser now he's like the Joe Bro kind of it, it it felt like early on that you know Daya was gonna be like a part of the team now and really I I felt because like, she was like with the Daya I feel like not Daya because, because she had the whole thing of just being the fangirl and like, yeah. they were gonna try to do that was have her be around all the time she was just like an early villain. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And it was, I think it was also kind of about like Josuke being accepted into the family, but I don't know. I feel like these characters, they're, they're set up and they're clearly going to pay off because we've seen them Hopefully. a lot. Lately. I hope so. I, really I mean, do. they're all here. Like, they're going to. Except for Kyo. Yeah, Kyo doesn't, Who? Kyo doesn't actually exist. Who? <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah. That's one thing you can't make an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make an excuse for. Um, I, I don't think an excuse. I think it literally, I think there's still a, a real reason why she's been like, just completely excised from uh, like photographs and shit. Hmm. All right, so yeah, Yasuo so, put, rubs her face up against. Yeah, most of this chapter is Yasuo screaming. It's really and, funny. Let's, let's think of Mitsubo's by the camera room, <laughs> and <clears throat> sees her, and then goes into the room and just had the weird seeing her child deformed, Jobin in the shadows looming menacingly. <laughs> it is really funny how Jobin just like... He's like hunched over. Yeah, just Jobin so is weird. just kind of looming. Um, and it's really He's funny just too standing there menacingly. We know that Jobin has like a very strong stand ability and he's very like clearly not using it here. He's just like, I, I guess my plan of throwing the cell phone in the toilet has worked. I'm just gonna keep letting it happen and not do anything. <laughs> it sizzles in the water. We know it works <laughs> in the water. <laughs> we know that she's dying. Uh, this is. I'm gonna be honest. This is a questionable move by Joe. And unless this stuff is happening in like literally ten seconds, which I guess is feasible, this is kind of weird. Or maybe if he gets out of if he gets out of the cell phone, it won't hurt Paisley Park. I don't know Wait, what? if he gets if she, since he probably did it on the phone and gets out of Paisley Park, it'll be fine. I don't know. I don't know the rules right now with Paisley Park. Like these set are kind yeah, of yeah. This is like a big <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know how to like r- yeah rule with Paisley Park right now. Uh, <laughs> I, li- I just little, there's like a little panel. I just like you're just like help me lift this phone out of the water. You have the like, hands coming out there. So it's like li- it's really funny to see like, like a phone just, with arms coming out. It is really funny. Like pick me up, like a child asking to be picked up. <laughs> it it is really funny. Uh, the it's also very horrifying at the same time. This whole idea of drowning in a toilet is like... There's something really scary about <laughs> You're drowning in something so mundane. Yeah, the effects of drowning, like, just cracking because the phone's doing it. It's so weird. I think it's really cool that... Uh, I, I like the way that it's manifesting. Like, we've seen this before, where Stan's, like... The cracking thing is not a new, oh. like, JoJo-ism. Yeah. But it's really, it's just really cool to see. And I like the effect of, like, the water spattering everywhere. Yeah. And then Jobin being the close talker. <laughs> Jobin is quite the close talker. That's, I, the, it seems like this, though, that I love Jobin. Like, <laughs> just shut the door. You didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> just shut the door and step out of this room. Because... I don't know, cause like, if she does a thing where she, you know, she tries to flush it, I guess, try to maybe try to help her get the water down there so she's not, like, drowning. I was maybe? confused because, by but, this. but so, she does, I guess we're going a little ahead, but she does tell Jobin about, you know, Dr. Wu in the fight and Yasho helping her, and she does, she, she clearly, she knows about stands. I'm guessing he, she know he knows she has a stand, and does, but does he know is Awaken 3 lead and it know it has an ability? Like, the, the arrows now? I mean, he must. I, well, we also... Because, like, no one really talks about stands. That was, like, one of the, kind of, like, the big things. It's one of the themes, yeah. Yeah, one of the things, like, one of the little monologues was, like, them, like, they'll have stands, but they won't talk about it. Yeah, Nariske mentions how... Yeah. It's like, it's like a, your stand is like your butthole. You don't go showing your butthole around people. <laughs> That's why it was so... You show your soul. I thought it was so intense when uh, <laughs> Ojiro was like, all right, show show me your stands. I was like, whoa. And that, like, this part four, cool where literally, like, Josuke and Okiatsu like, oh, you have a stand and we have stands too. <laughs> like that kind of thing. Um, the oh, right, part three was like, a very another thing like that where like showing your stand is like, yeah, it was literally showing your butthole. It's like a big thing. And if you get found out that you have a stand, yeah. that you're going to fight because st- st- standards are fated to fight each other. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, but I was gonna say something. But yeah, Yashi oh, so pro- wait. Oh, one thing I wanted to say about oh. the Mitsuba. So we don't know when Mitsuba got her stand. Because it, it wasn't like she just got her stand it, in the Dr. Wu fight. Yeah, but it did. 
affiliate awakened in the Doctor Wu fight, though. Uh, why? I don't know. It just felt like that's, that's the introduction chapter felt like when it was when awakened. But she already knew the ability. I think that I she had the stand beforehand. People find this, this always find out the ability. For a lot of people, find out the ability when they get it. Like I appreciate. Sure, mean, name name one example. It, it can, name it, one example. It can literally be like Spice Girl, which literally told her about the stand, and then. But it didn't. Like, we didn't eventually. see her tell her. I think uh, I think there's more done, evidence. Though. Fish Trish actually no. Like, Spice Girl told her. Yeah. Awakening three leaves didn't tell her. St- I feel like it's the thing in JoJo where just your stand, you kind of defaultly know what your stand does. But Trish didn't. <laughs> I think that there's more evidence for Mitsuba having this stand before the Wu fight than there is for her getting it during the Wu fight. It felt like that's when it. No pun intended. Awakened. <laughs> Disagree. Um. So that I think it's not. I, especially since they're married, I don't think it's completely unreasonable to think that they are aware of each other's stands. Well, they make Wake 3 leave and, and Speed King just make out on top of the, of the bed where the beetle is. <laughs> I mean, have you seen Awakening, or have you seen Speed King's weird mouth? Who wouldn't want to make out with that thing? Can they find the mouth of Awaken Three Leaves in the poncho? <laughs> so another thing, like she blurts out about where the fruit's location is. That was I really like that uh, little detail. So Yasho now knows there's yes. something in there, and and makes Travi Jobin like not want to room with the stag beetle. Yeah, get her out even more. And also, Jobin, I think Jobin... it's really funny that that's how Mitsuba identifies that room. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> also, Jobin's face kind of like just changes to look like, really like you should not have like like an actor like legit pissed. Yeah, enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm glad Rocky didn't go for like try to think of slap his wife kind of thing. Yeah, no. Where a lot of things would have done. I'm glad. He but that's did. I feel like that's not how Jobin would be. Yeah, it's not. Like, I'm glad he didn't know because I felt like a lot of stuff would have. Yeah. So it's still interesting that he's still like a. Decent, yeah. like, love hus- like, husband that loves Jobin's his wife. Jobin's a good guy. It's weird. Jobin's a even good though, guy. Even though story. he didn't like, pay attention to his wife until she got the nose. Again. Well, yeah, but now he loves her because her- the nose is so hot to him. <laughs> Reminds him of a beetle. <laughs> Reminds him of a stag beetle. <laughs> so. <laughs> the- that scene is one of my favorite in Jojo Lane. His excitement is, like, so uncharacteristic mm-hmm. of his character. It's so funny. Yeah, his stand is really. When you think about it, it's really weird when it comes <laughs> compared to Jobin. <laughs> Who did you did you did you expect Jobin to have like that weird kind of like, heat up kind of stand? You know, he matched up to Jobin pretty well. Um, well, I mean, it was teased way early on. It was teased a little bit, but you didn't we didn't know like, what it, you didn't know it was like the heat thing though. It, uh, could, it was like implied to be heat because remember he how he wins the the battle the beetle tendency fight. Yeah, he heats up the uh, yeah, the he, glue or whatever. Yes. So it was it was implied early on to be heat, but but the extent of what he can do, like everything in JoJo. Once, yeah, I. I I think that Speed King's stand ability is like fascinating. Like, it's in, I want to see more what it can yes. do. Yes, because the you idea know, we of very little, a little, even with a little bit of Odor, a little bit of Ozone mm-hmm. Baby, it can drive a car. <laughs> yeah, it can drive a car. <laughs> uh, it, I just think it's so fascinating that it's like because heat is always like just due to like entropy. Like is heat it, is always like spreading out. Is it weird that the stand has a hat but he doesn't? Uh, do you find that weird? No, <laughs> I don't find it that weird. Um, I mean, can the stand the Star t- Platinum wore a loincloth and jo- can, uh, just uh, could, <laughs> Jotaro didn't. Could speak? He had a little like headband. He could speaking take off his hat and like and like wipe off his bald head and then put it back on. We'll have to wait until the end. I of, hope so. That's the end of part question. eight when Speed King gets so hot that he has to. Can wipe he put his, his hat his on soft and wet? <laughs> so um, we get yeah. to the sighting of the head doctor. Mitsuba sees him. Is he's like the he does like the face turn like you always and he's like he like kind of has that look where like he knows she's looking at him and he kind of smirks about it. It's so awesome to see the head doctor's face now. Now that we've had like the proper reveal, seeing him be like all menacing with the face. I was I was like thought he was gonna talk to Yasho for a second there. Yes. Okay. So here was my head cannon. Here's my fan theory. Everyone's favorite meme. Uh, <laughs> I thought that the thing that I don't think is true that uh, Toru is the head doctor, the head doctor. or, or I thought, his stand or whatever yeah i thought that was going to be revealed here by the head doctor saving uh yasuo which i guess the head doctor does kind of save yasuo uh, does she well he's he's <laughs> does she? <laughs> he, okay so we have to determine something is mitsuba flushing yasuo a good thing or a bad thing we don't know we have to wait till march to find out because so the head doctor stops her from flushing the toilet i think that Mits- or yasuo being flushed would just commit her to death so I think flushing is a bad thing. So I think the head well, doctor is well, saving her. I think her. she's trying to flush just so she's not drowning. She's not. The phone's not going to go down the drain. 
Oh, I didn't think about that. It's well, maybe just, it will, though. <laughs> In my mind, I was thinking... Just to give her some air, at least. Well, it, it is a pretty powerful toilet. Just so give her enough to get not be stuck in water and they like, jump into something. I didn't even think... That's true. That's really interesting. Yeah, because the toilet... The, blech, the toilet might not flush the phone. This is such a weird situation that I'm thinking okay, of. Okay, well, mind. Google the, 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 the circumference of a on, Japanese wait. toilet, the standard Japanese toilet. I'm going to go on Google, uh, YouTube right now, flushing my iPhone down the toilet. <laughs> <while I'm> toilet. <laughs> Flush it. Flushing my 2012 iPhone down the toilet. Flushing my iPhone down the toilet. A video. Flushing my iPhone One 11 Pro down the toilet. Um, See, there we go. Check. Oh, oh, it went oh, that, in. That was from one month it ago. Went That's in. a slim ass phone. We're talking about like no, a, a, an early twenty. They were even smaller. This is this is a. Remember the iPhone one was well. Okay, that and plus, like iPhone and plus, four. she had arms that can come out and stop her from going down, being sucked down. But there. The, the inside of a toilet is super slick, dude. But you know the power of a stand. Well, but. she's dying. Um, we all. She lost one of her arms. We didn't talk about that yet. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Uh, so we've confirmed it. Uh, thank you, YouTube user. <laughs> that was one month ago. This is, we were talking about <laughs> about flushing the two hundred forty pounds of mercury down. <laughs> 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 um. All right. So uh, we've we've determined scientifically that you can flush a phone down the toilet. An iPhone eleven Pro, at least. So I think that um, people who I flush think... your to- your phones out of the toilet, let us know. Leave a comment. Yeah. So. So okay. So Mitzvah close. So yeah, Mitzvah closes the. The lid. Mitsuba and Yasha both notice the uh, head doctor, though, before yeah. anything. And so we see Mitsuba, Mitsuba seems to make the decision that um, even though she says, oh, Yasuho is someone who saved me at the hospital, she seems to have completely heel turned and she's just like, um, I'm going to let this girl die. Not a heel turn. She's from stage, from what we learned from like the the, P, like the PTA meeting, like she takes the side of her of her her like child that's and true hu- and her husband or anything it's not like a heel turn she probably she does you know feel like she owes yasho one but i think why she's trying to flush the toilet that is that is a good point she owes yasho i think it is and still like she probably knows that you know sarugi loves yasho i feel like um mitsuba's actions have been pretty like neutral to good lately but this is like the first time we've seen her do like a very negative I mean, her introduction has she, her she closing a hot, door. She has to pour hot coffee onto the uh, one lady who wanted okay. to like, accuse her child of smets. All right, no, game. she didn't pour hot coffee. She made the lady smash the hot coffee in her face. She shot with the glass her upwards. So yeah. <laughs> she's, um, she's still pouring hot coffee on him. All right, maybe not. Maybe chaotic neutral. <laughs> I can, I, I can see that. No, actually, Mitsuba... She's chaotic. She's chaotic neutral sounds about Mitsuba's right. Mitsuba's kind of a shithead, but I don't know. This feels like... She's a new, She's neutral. She, she. This feels like the most like um, malicious thing she's done. But, but like, she's also surrounded. She's surrounded by the two people that like matter to her the most. Yeah. Also, I love the shot of Mitsuba hunched over closing the toilet. Also, it's she, so fucking funny. So she's looking. like able to like, figure out his stand in like what like two it's two t- like the two times she's actually physically like seen him at the estate. She saw uh, she seen him three times on the on the camera the at least. Yeah, yeah. The three. Th- but this time, like she like. This is a, <laughs> it's just like so much happens. All right, we need to talk about the uh, elephant in the room. So Yasuho loses an arm. Wait, wait. This was just one thing where she says like she look at the window and she says I love you, which sounds like she, she's like. Wait, who says that, Mitsuba? Yeah, Mitsuba says like yeah, I love you, Sar- Sarugi and Jobin, and then she closes like the the uh, lid because you know she puts her family. Right, but she's, like I still think that's why she did that because it's not a heel turn. That's something she stated clearly. But yeah. Then we get like, a full shot on his face though from Yasho, like, t- like the head doctor to Yasho outside. Like he turns his head completely at her. That's why I was thinking like, and he fa- he even faces her, which is something that I don't think we've ever seen the head doctor face any of our characters like yes. this. He's always seen a little bit side of his face, but sometimes I'm not sure if his monocle his monocle's not there either. But I'm not sure if it's a weird thing, just like drawing it or not what or... the monocle yeah i honestly can't remember i thought he did have a monocle. he on, did wait. he did i'm just like not sh- i guess he did. he doesn't, <laughs> doesn't need it matter, he but... doesn't need it all the time no this matters immensely sam so <laughs> so and then yeah then the arm comes off from like what they like, drop like rain or drop no no so that was just the the her drowning like uh the effects of her drowning like, oh, okay caused the arm to... it, lo- it looks like like when the rain dropped onto because that's later. Yeah. That's 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 when the head doctor, like... So it seems like the head doctor is acknowledging that Yasuho is hurt. 
Um, but she thought she can't even pursue him if she tries. She's probably just like noticing why, like, just confused more than anything. So maybe there's some control. And this is the thing too. Until we get, um, until we get to the, the Mitsuba. This is oh. another time where the head doctor is a, is hurting Mitsuba after Mitsuba's not directly pursued him. Yeah. So there's uh, other than like that, that yeah the cut on her finger act set, like it activated. But this, this you could you could say no. I'm talking about the one in the. Um, when she got hit by the, 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 the scalding water. That's right, yeah. Um, cause you could say that technically she got up from the bed and walked towards him to close the window. So you, or if you want the window to, yeah. Yeah, to call out to him or something. Yeah, whatever she did. You could technically make the argument that she did pursue, she did get closer to him, but this time she, she doesn't move. She's in front of the toilet, sees the doctor, and then is in front of the toilet again. Maybe she had the mentality of like trying to help Yasho so maybe she could pursue him or something like that. Maybe she, we don't like really like all right let me so okay so what the fuck is this i'm sorry so yeah something else that i think is interesting is how uh mitzvah interprets his power she says yes figures it out (laughs) if you view him from behind so she doesn't quite get the pursuing which is something that rye was like really this is like some weird like is like what uh what cheap trick had we we, it like we look at his back it's how it activates (laughs) it's weird and also, he, the head doctor, he just, just jumped off, like, the... That was really weird. That was really weird. Can you really be 89 years old, Jim? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I know you love it. Um, I, And she tells Jovin, but Jovin just not sees, like, anything. Or I'm not sure if he even bothered to look out the window. But, like, for some reason, he only wants to show up to Mitsuba and Yasha for some reason. Yeah. Well, okay, so... Unless he's still skulking around the estate to look for the, the fruit. Maybe. So... Okay, so here's the thing that I'm just really baffled by. Or not baffled, I just want to think about. So Mitsuba, uh, will f- she closes the toilet lid and then she's going to flush the toilet. This is, Just thinking about this out of context is hilarious. We're talking about like flushing a toilet for like 30 minutes. Um, so she like flushes a toilet, um, but she's using her stand ability. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why doesn't she press the plunger? So everything that's coming to crash into this fan... So maybe so Joba didn't see it... She's speaking out loud that I will flush the toilet. I will. F- I don't know. <laughs> we'll flush down the drain and out of here. I would take and a- also she says, and out of here, which is like, is she trying to get Yasuo to safety? Does she understand how plumbing this, works? I will take this potato chip and eat it. <laughs> um, does she understand how plumbing works? I don't know if Mitsuba... Is there anybody that can heal, heal a stand? Like, unless Yasuo is going to take like a bite of the fruit. The, maybe that's how they test out the new fruit to grow back the arm. It's not out of the realm of and, possibility. And there was more than the one of that new fruit there right we did see a few it looked like a few were there also i just love the look of waking three leaves behind her i know yeah that's really i love it freaking cool i want to try and find the one part where uh i've got to turn it off so yeah it's just so, to, like, yeah so like i don't i don't know why she doesn't i don't know why she uses her stand to flush a toilet uh, other than because we want oof. a scene where the head doctor uses her stand against her yeah and then like i guess like the, there's like a leak from above that shot like the droplets into her hands and i felt like that's what that's what the poor thomas it seems where like that, those kind of shots came down and yeah that happens a lot and i think then i say that last last month Mate, probably, that I, or, or, I thought that the head doctor yeah or because recap. yeah or yeah i said it some sometime my awesome new fan theory that <laughs> the head doctor killed poor tom because poor tom was pursuing the ambulance yeah or, and or he saw his back. The door open. He saw his back. And he like, oh no! <laughs> the head doctor showed him his his booty. It maybe they don't even know the even the the rock human team don't they don't know his, the extent of his stand ability. But we all know because they're all dead except for the one that's in the lake. So I think it's really weird that water just appears from the ceiling. Uh, I guess maybe just the, the misfortunes happening. And yeah, like, maybe just like a sink from the second floor. Just and it just calls her air arrow just to go like. A rye and just shoot. It's like it was like a ricochet bullet, like with like. Yeah, <laughs> the thing, and it explodes. I know. I like. I, I thought it just like shot stuff forward. Like, they never did that much momentum. It seemed. It just makes me like, what was what was Mitsuba going to do to this toilet? Um, unless, was she going to blow the toilet up? Unless like I know that you know it, it shoots the trajectory and everything, but I guess maybe she can control like how fast or how slow it gets it out or shoots out. I guess so. I didn't know that. The stand could work this way until now. <laughs> so, yeah, just, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Uh, mm-hmm. This is a really weird reference. Soul Eater. Uh, remember how the one girl um, from Soul Eater... Which one? There's like multiple girls. The bad one. Like the main bad guy okay, at the end. Okay, Medusa? Yes. How she had like all the arrows. Yeah. 
Uh, that's what it, this reminded me of seeing like the arrow <laughs> be like an attack. Yeah. Uh, also, I like how they do to refer to it as misfortune. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. So maybe some music reference would be some kind of bad like, cat scratch fever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, we also see Yasuo's arm sort of, dis- uh, sorry, Paisley Park's arm disintegrate in the water, which makes me think that Yasuo is not getting that arm back. Unless unless, unless we we test out the fruit, because that's how they, maybe this, they use her to test it out to see if it will work on Sarugi. Uh-huh. But so, um, I'm trying to puzzle out in my head, like, what is the goal of the fruit? So we know that they don't want, like, they want to eliminate equivalent exchange, but, like there is no free lunch you know what i mean like yeah. you it, can't just like get something for free what's going to be the cost what if this what if freaking her arrow is going to work like uh Butcher, like bruno's um zippers where he just puts arrows on her arm and it just like, reattaches itself after a little while didn't she literally do that with her fingers when she cut I her fingers think so, off yeah yeah she cut her fingers off at so, the... she, so she can get her arm back that way. yeah <laughs> There you go. Yeah, after a while, it just it's fine. It's fine. It's like the fine. zippers. All you need is a zipper, and then yeah. the void will, will heal it up. Yeah, just just give it a few minutes, and your 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 limbs will reattach. So yeah, the 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 fo- Paisley Park is flushing, and it seems yeah the, the arm crumbles away. Yasuo's fu- his Yasuo's fucking dead. There's a bunch of yeah or dying, and Toru's nowhere to be found. Um, As usual, the family hears the sound and actually he- they actually go to Jovin's room, and yeah they all look into the hole and see that new fruit and there's like, like at least four fruit that are seen to be growing one's one's really i guess it's the one that's like ripe but like there's and a couple it looks more like grown. it's totally different now it's it looks kind of like a pumpkin yeah it looks awesome it does look really freaking cool it looks like a devil fruit from like from one piece it's kind of like that weird look to it epic reference and then yeah then we're hit with hiatus so yeah, so no Joe Kakaka next month. Just, just kidding. kidding. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna deliver a special episode to you. Which, I don't know. Maybe put a poll on the on. I'm not putting a poll on Twitter. Um, comment. <laughs> I said so. I said on we, Twitter maybe. I don't maybe. know. Okay, here's what we'll do. Comment. You, you can put a poll on Twitter. Put it tag and just tag it as like you know, or you can pin it on the top things that people want to like vote. Maybe that you have I will it. Not pin it. Yeah. Why? Because I already have a good pin. Uh, okay. Why would I pin it? I don't know. Pin All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Comment on this video what you would like us to do next or, month. Or you have a choice. We ha- or you pick a choice. I pick a choice. Like I don't have one ready though. Oh, uh, I mean, you could do something like okay. We just uh, you can leave a comment then. Whatever. Leave a comment about what you want us to talk do about want... next month for Joe Kaka. It can... can be a JoJo related thing. It can be a not JoJo related thing. It you... can be a specific JoJo related thing. Maybe you want more part three stuff. We can do that. Maybe spoiler cast for a part one or something do you want us to talk about our least favorite jojo things or our most do, favorite jojo do you, things or? do you want us to read jojo dojins or as they're called jojins or that that one about the egg or the one where cars goes to kimono oh i really land? do want to read the uh well i want to read that i want to read the <laughs> kakuane's egg one by clamp yeah man or we need to do another rohan chapter oh yeah, oh, yeah we do need to do that anyway. okay we can do another one so we'll yeah, talk about it later leave a comment or something all right, let's talk about the chapter more. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah. What did you think of the chapter? It's a crazy chapter. It's fucking crazy. I got more Mitsuba, so I'm super happy about that. I'm just. I like Mitsuba. She's very cool. Yeah, and then, so, but the, the last tagline was the form of the of the fruit that reveals misfortune. So yeah, and that kind of ties back weird. into the head doctor being like this sort of uh, unlock generator generator and generation. We, and we surprisingly didn't get like a countdown timer. Well, that either. I know, because I, I think it is. I know, I still. Oh wait, no, it's not. If it, it's you, not. you thought he would have that value to shock value, like, of, like uh-huh. it's close, and we still don't have that time where everything kind of like, the family's all fine. They don't seem to notice, or actually, we don't see the fruit when during that whole thing, do we? During what? During the Surugi, that the thing right before the harvest, where Surugi like, goes to the to uh, no. the office. All we see, we don't see Jobin. We don't see Mitsuba. We don't. See, yeah, yeah, it's always and see. Uh, yeah, or Yasuo. <laughs> oh yeah, um, but so I think she's gonna go head back to the hospital. I think I think Toru comes will come in. Like, oh yeah, I was parking the car. What did the final arc of JoJo is them constantly going back to the hospital every I'm... time they get hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Yasha would be in more band aids. Uh, so Ray be pa- in more pieces. All right, so wait, I want to just mention um, the last thing that happens when the wall explodes from Awakening Three leaves. 
all of uh, the stag the, beetles are released. All the stag beetles get out. <laughs> um, we can assume. And, and we learn he's going to send the beetles to pursue the head doctor with Speed King on it. So they're going to... Oh my god, you predicted it. <laughs> big um, brain. No, uh, all of the Higashikatas uh, approach the door. So there's going to be, presumably, next chapter, a big reveal um, where they all see <laughs> they all see the uh, Rokakaka, the new Rokakaka. You're, that's a weird fruit. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, the kids probably don't give a shit. Yeah, well, Dai can't see it, so... <laughs> legally can't see yeah, it. Yeah, Dai will just be, like, standing <laughs> that's, there. That's, that's what legally blind, and you legally cannot see it. You're not allowed. Um, also, one thing I want to mention from last chapter, uh, Josuke sent a package. Yeah, we still don't know. What could it be? <laughs> Where could it be going? Dolomite, probably. Uh... That's a, a pretty good theory. That's what my theory was last time. I didn't then. check. I forgot to check if, if Josuke actually even knew who this character was. He, but I believe he was there. He might. I mean, if this is what would tell him about the whole fight that happened there, why wouldn't Yashiho? Has. And plus, yeah, I'm pretty sure she went there. But no, but Yasuo, we've been over this. Yasuo had an aneurysm and forgot. <laughs> I still think he knows somehow. Don't worry. You believe. He got, his brain came golden when he got his his new form. Um, <laughs> I made sure to hit the right the right spot that she knows she forgot. So yeah, fun fun stuff. Your favorite arc? I fucking love Blue Hawaii, guys. It's freaking epic. <laughs> so I love when Jobin kills a child. Okay, so yeah, Jobin literally meets Dolomite. Jo- uh, wait, you mean? Josuke. Yeah, okay, Josuke. Like, well, Jobin threw chicken at him. Yeah, jo- Jobin <laughs> did meet him. Uh, he threw chicken at him. Uh, yes, so Thought I so. am stupid. Yes. Uh, so. And I forget things. So, yeah, I mean, that's re- I think that's a prediction I really can. Maybe the Beatles can pursue him because Jobin trained him, I guess, because he's the only person that's weird enough to train Beatles to, like, be on him and sick him like pets. And maybe, like. <laughs> train the Maybe the, it only works on humans that are pursuing, not animals. <laughs> Because animals haven't attacked them um, yet with the pursuing anyone. They felt like that's something that Araki would have done, probably, if they were. You know, we haven't seen Iwas- Iwasuke in a long time. The dog. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> Do you think that he died? Do you think... No, I, he's still... I'm pretty sure he's... I think he he might have died during Ozone Baby, and they just forgot about him. Well... S- <laughs> he crawled under the car, and then the pressure just killed him, and they just, just forgot about just him. Just one, the dog lives. Wait, yeah, I don't think we've seen him since Ozone he Baby, He sticks right? the dog on him, on the head doctor, since it doesn't affect animals. <laughs> Supposedly. The rock animal. He becomes a rock animal. Oh, uh, he might already be a rock animal. Remember the hair clip? I do remember the hair clip. <laughs> Maybe the package is to, to uh, her house, I don't know, to get, get bring the hair clip here, please. Um, I don't know. I keep wondering what they could do with the hair clip. I, I feel like know. the hair clip already serves its purpose. Like, I feel like, like the rock animal thing was supposed to be a, a <clears throat> discovery or something, and it hasn't. <laughs> We've seen two rock animals, I think, in which is the actual tank, well, the tank and, and the hair clip. Iwasuke is presumed yeah. to be a rock animal as well, but not, he, he but not like the crazy deformed, like weird ones though. Yeah, that are like literally like a tank. Dorimi Fossolatido. Yeah, great name. For it. <laughs> but that's like it's, there's so much happening i don't know where this is gonna go i really like how this chapter was just like only this one scene like it was just really intense last chapter had it split i think the chapter before that was like split between actually was it split or was it just all of uh holly and uh josuke i believe oh well we had the head doctor stuff yeah the head, had, was, was... It, w- it would cut between that and the head doctor stuff yeah the lead up and then, yeah. Yeah, so this one has been, like, the first chapter in a while where and, like, it's, like, just been, like, this one scene. Yes, Dangerous Pursuit. I said, this is a lot happening. going to be a couple of big things happening, solution to one of these things, and then next slow burn into the next big thing. It's been, like, the running theme here. Yeah. Even, like, the early part of, like, trying to pursue the doctor was kind of like, oh, we're just keep tripping and not, like, super bad until you get to the end of the chapter was, you know, him losing like, his legs being split in half. Uh, I don't know, man. We shall see. The Danger Pursuit's going on for a while, so. And probably still will. But we have to wait till March 19th ish. March. So. Yeah, this chapter dropped pretty early uh, yeah. in regards to how they normally drop. Yeah. So, any, any big, other. Big McThankies. Any other big brain theories you got? Um, No, I feel like I got everything out. I feel like uh, I really enjoyed this chapter. This is a fun discussion. 
as it always is. Like, uh, I only got Haito, use angry. your high heels to attack the head doctor far away because you literally have extended legs. And then he, she tries to do it, and then it just like curves. Pierces her eye. <laughs> yeah, it goes back and pierces her own eye somehow. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a great chapter. The art in this chapter, I feel like I always need to remind myself to just talk about you... the art. Art was incredible. Okay. What if the package is to Daya and she uses. Okay, because in her stand the memory, right? Yeah, she can like take your memory and put it into like a physical object which she made chess pieces you think, you think that could work with like something to pursue the head doctor then i don't see i feel like you'd have to attack i feel like i feel like Maybe... Stan could help more with that Stan would be better you don't, yeah. you, you don't know you're pursuing him because you can't tell if it's him or not yeah i feel like we kind of have already yeah, we've already established that it's, like, the way to beat him is to, like, not intentionally pursue. Yeah. It's just about using, like... The only person that can really, like, physically, I guess, maybe, like, Jobin setting up a trap somewhere, but that's, like... Yeah. But it still feels like the head doctor's, like, like super powerful. Speaking could probably... He probably has maybe something on speaking to activate, like, when someone touches the new fruit, and that's maybe the head doctor that will happen to him. I don't know. Yeah. That's actually... Like, on the pod, like, the base of the plant, uh -huh. so... You don't gotta grab it by the branch. I, I just there's something so fishy about the head doctor how fast he is Every, yeah everything is like he doesn't seeing, feel real yeah and he, we're seeing his face so more and more we've seen him talk like i'm not sure like, we know he is real but he just doesn't seem real i was like, I was like unless like, yeah I, I don't okay know. let's say that like later on um end of jojo lane jojo lane's over um the head doctor is just the guy with stand and, and because, it's just like the explanation is that he's just really fast at walking if toru finds it her he is going to be pissed oh of course and i am interested to see if he shows up because he drove her there <laughs> presumably presumably we, we, th we think he did which i think i thought he did and i was like waiting for that other shoe to drop this whole chapter like and where's toru where's then we toru? get the toru versus joshu fight that everybody's been clamoring for oh my god imagine my two favorite characters <laughs> and he like i just want more toru and i know in. i want like he's a such a fascinating character such an interesting addition and he has to get it and like <laughs> and like we, we keep getting Kai, that that every chapter i feel has a picture of, of kaito like in there when they're just going to opening like monologue kind of thing i'm just like you can't don't forget about her she's there she, somewhere she did that thing she's plotting she did she buried a child she did bury a child and <laughs> maybe murdered it well she buried it alive so yeah that she did murder it <laughs> um the dirt murdered the child sam <laughs> cool backstory still murder <laughs> <laughs> Like, seriously. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Wall eyes, baby. Wall's eyes, baby. That's the new episode. Wall's eyes, baby. <laughs> Wall's eyes, baby. Um, no, there's going to be a funny title of, like... I'm sure you'll have to uh, like, epic. Midst of his toilet troubles or something. <laughs> flushing worst <comes. laughs> All right. Um, Best girl flushing worst comes. I'm kidding. Do you have any... Anything else to add? No, I never do. <laughs> I feel like I do. I, I We should just end it. I feel like this is a nice svelte uh episode it is some good i think some good predictions kind of mixed in there i really enjoyed this chapter it was a thrill to read also reading it next to you is a fucking curse because sam is a fast breezes th through things faster than uh, i do I like fucking so with he's jim. reacting i like fucking with jim yeah sure <laughs> uh so yeah um but yeah so uh please uh tell us what you thought about this chapter in yes. the comments put what you the recommendation of what you would like us to do for hiatus month even though it's probably be less viewed than this one but you know it's, <laughs> we do we gotta do yes and then yeah please like comment subscribe tell a friend all that fun stuff yeah uh, share follow us um, follow us wherever podcasts are on like spotify itunes all that crap yes apple music stitcher as it's called. stitcher which I think I've, we still haven't had a single listener on it's, Stitcher. It's hard. To keep, Hilarious. Like, I'm so used to iTunes. So I'm I know. Keep saying iTunes. I know. Um, but then you, you check out some of our other content if you would like. We have uh, JoJo. Doctor Stone came out recently, and you know we have another video uh, drumming up, uh, which will be a lot of fun. We just our recorded year, our new yearly tradition, our second <laughs> annual. We'll see. Yes. Um. But yeah, I think that's all. I can think of. You have Twitter links below as well. Yeah. Oh, close it up. Close up. Close up the bag. Twitter is the, is the bow that I am sealing it off the bag with. 
Yeah, so. you can follow us on Twitter. I closed it already, damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else? Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you once again so much for listening. Uh, mm-hmm. We really appreciate all of uh, the views and the comments. I yes. Jim, find them fascinating. Jim loves comments, so I'll just keep them coming. Yeah, I read them. Also, commenting helps us uh, helps us with the algorithm. Uh, you know that glorious, glorious algorithm. If you want us to get bigger, <laughs> give us more comments, baby. Please. <laughs> all right. Have a great night, day wherever you are have a great wherever you are happy new year to new start of the new year in jojo yeah new new year new jojo this will be in our yearly review our first one that we look over just remember that oh shit yeah <laughs> so when we do our next yearly review all right we'll start with dangerous pursuit part part five, six. six yes <laughs> all right now going by for bye-bye bye-bye forever <laughs> <laughs>